In this video, we'll look at how to set up a paper in APA format using Google Docs. First, let's begin a new document. APA format requires consistent appearance, so let's select the font of Times New Roman and the size of 12. You may want to set this as your normal text to keep consistency throughout your paper. Do this by clicking on the Normal Text Options box and then the little arrow next to the Normal Text. Finally, select Update Normal Text to Match. APA also requires that all of your texts be double-spaced, so click on the Line Spacing Options box. It's the one with the three small horizontal lines and the vertical arrow. Select Double. And make sure there are no extra spaces before or after paragraphs. Click back into the Line Spacings Options box, and this time click the Custom Spacing option. Confirm that the paragraph spacing is set for zero for both before and after spacing. Now that we have that set up, let's begin our document with a proper APA title page. First, we'll create the title page running head. To access the header in your document, simply double-click at the top portion of the paper. APA requires that the title page have a different header than the remaining pages, so check the little box that says Different First Page. In APA, the title is to be on the left margin and the page number should be on the far right margin. Let's start by typing in Running Head followed by a colon. Notice how the R in running is capitalized, but the rest is lowercase. After the colon, you want to type the title of your paper, or a shortened title if it's over 50 characters. This should be written in all uppercase. Now we need to insert a page number. You can do this by going to the Insert drop-down menu, highlight the header and page number option, highlight the page number option, and select the first box, the one that shows a number one on the first page. This will add the number one directly after the title of your paper. Since the page number should be against the right margin, you'll need to use the tab key along with the space bar to get it in the right position. That takes care of the header on the title page. Now click out of the header by clicking once in the middle of your document. Hit enter a few times to move the cursor down to about the two inch mark on the side ruler. The following information on your document should be centered and evenly double spaced. Type the complete title of your paper using regular title capitalization, which means you capitalize all the words except for prepositions and for articles fewer than five letters. Hit the Enter key once to double space and then type your name. Hit Enter again and type the name of your school. For us, Point Loma Nazarene University. Your instructor may require different or additional information on this page, so make sure to clarify his or her expectations and do as your instructor directs. Now to move to the next page of your paper, Click on the Insert drop-down menu, highlight the Break option, and select Page Break. Another way to enter a page break is to hit Control-Enter on PCs or Command-Enter on Macs. This will also enter a page break in your document. I recommend using page breaks rather than hitting the Enter key multiple times to get to the next page. Now we need to set up the header for the second page. What we put here will show up on all remaining pages of your document. As before, to access the header area of your paper, double-click on the top portion of the document. You can either go back to your title page and then copy and paste the header information from there, or you can simply retype the title of your paper, or a shortened version of the title, in all caps. If you choose the Copy-Paste option, Make sure that you delete the extra line that sometimes gets added when you paste. The running head on pages after the title page do not include the words running head, so just delete them. 
Now click back into the main area of your document to continue. Some instructors may require an abstract page before the content. Check with your instructor to see if one is required for your paper. If your paper requires an abstract, on this page, in the center, type the word abstract. Next, hit enter one time and then select the left align options box. In APA, an abstract paragraph is not indented, it is between 150 and 250 words, and it provides a concise summary of your entire paper. After the abstract, insert a page break again, either by clicking Control Enter for PC or Command Enter on Mac, or using the Insert drop down menu, selecting Break, and selecting Page Break again. Now we're on the first body page of your paper. Select the Center Alignment Options box, then type the full title of your paper again. Be sure to capitalize all major words of your title. Hit Enter one time to double space, and then select the left alignment box to type the body of your paper. To indent your paragraph, hit the Tab key one time. When typing in the text of your paper, do not hit the Enter or Return key at the end of each line. Instead, allow Google Docs to conduct word wrapping. Google Docs will automatically wrap lines according to the margins and the line spacing that you have set, so it's not necessary to hit Enter or Return until you want to start a new paragraph. At the end of a paragraph, hit Enter one time to double space, then hit Tab one time to indent. Alternatively, instead of hitting Tab for each paragraph, you may use the first line indent feature in the horizontal bar at the top. You click it and you move it to the half inch mark. This will indent the first line of every paragraph until you change the format. If you choose this option, you'll need to adjust it if or when you choose the center alignment format, such as when you're typing the word references on your reference page. Otherwise, your text will not be properly centered, but we'll look at that a bit later. Now you can begin typing your next paragraph. Anytime that you use a source in your paper, you must provide an in-text citation to that source, which in APA consists of the author's last name and the year of publication inside of parentheses. If the source you're using doesn't identify an author, use the first several words of the source's title. When you finish typing the body of your paper, it's time to create your references page. Insert another page break by using either Control or Command Enter, or by going to the Insert drop-down menu and entering a page break. On this page, centered in the middle, type the word References. Notice that it might not actually be centered here if you use the first line indent feature in the horizontal bar on the ruler. To adjust, simply move the horizontal first line indent bar back to the left margin. After you have the word References typed and centered on your page, hit the Enter key one time and select the Left Align Options box to bring your cursor back to the left margin. Now, type in the information for each source, beginning with the author's last name, followed by a comma, then the initial of the author's first name, followed by a period, and their initial for their middle name and a period, if you have that information. Then comes the date of publication, inside parentheses, followed by a period. Now type the title of the source you got your quotation or your information from. Remember, in APA, the title of the source is not capitalized, except for the first word of the title, any proper nouns, or the first word following a colon in the title of an article. Following the title of the source, you may need to type a publication title, if your article was published inside a magazine, journal, newspaper, or book. When typing the title of a publication, be sure to italicize it. To italicize the title of a publication, first highlight the title, then go up to the I for italics tool. Place a comma after this title and continue entering any information needed, including the periodical's volume number and issue number if it's provided, followed by a comma, then add the inclusive page numbers. 
The APA manual says that a reference section should use hanging indentation, which means that the first line of each reference is aligned to the left margin, but each of the following lines are indented a half an inch. There are two ways to use hanging indentation in Google Docs. First, highlight the line or the lines you wish to indent, and then you can either go to the Format drop-down options menu, highlight the Align and Indent option, and select Indentation Options. In this box, you'll see the word Special, and under that, a small box. Click on the box and select Hanging. Finally, click the blue Apply button. Alternatively, you can drag the left indent triangle to the half inch mark and return the first line indentation horizontal bar to the left margin. Be sure as you continue to add references that you maintain double spacing for all of your sources and in between them. Online sources are used frequently today. One of the most common types is the online journal article. For this type of source, you'll want to add the DOI, or Digital Object Identifier, at the end of the citation. A DOI is a unique number assigned to the online content. If the source that you're referencing has not been assigned a DOI, use the homepage URL for the online journal, magazine, newspaper, or book that you used for your paper. Be sure to use the proper APA format for the specific type of source that you're citing. These formats can be found starting on page 193 of the APA 6th edition or at the Purdue OWL website. Once you're finished, your document is already automatically saved in Google Drive. But some instructors may require you to submit your documents in Microsoft Word format. Go to the File drop-down menu and select Download As. You'll see a choice for Microsoft Word .docx. Choose that and select a name to save it to your computer. This will retain all of the APA formatting in the new document. You can use this document to submit to Canvas. This video just showed one way to create an APA document in Google Docs. Please let us know if you have any questions.